Well, just having the necessary energy at the start of the game. You know, we knew we'd have to withstand, you know, the push, transition, keeping the ball out of the paint. So that was probably the biggest thing. Um, you know, just, you know, our defense. Defensively, you know, you talk a lot about not giving teams confidence, but you gave up some points there in that first half. Did you feel like Indiana was getting everything they wanted? Well, they're a good team. You know, the, the, uh, I thought we scored, but we didn't, we didn't guard. So, um, you know, it take, just takes one guy, you know, and uh, we knew it would be a challenge uh, because of, you know, where we were in our schedule. Um, but we got to meet that challenge. We have, you know, we have to find a way to get it done. How are you continuing to talk the guys through the inconsistency? Yeah, the games keep coming, you know, so, uh, you know, we've been a very good road team all year. And so uh, this is a challenge. And now we, we, we go to Toronto next. And uh, sometimes the schedule's in your favor, sometimes it's not. And when it's not, you, you still got to play and you got to find a way to get it done. Around the San Antonio game, two one sided losses here. Is there something common that you see here, like, that they're not making a run? Well, you, know, you just look at it game to game. You know, like I said, you, you, you tend to, like, how are you trending? What do you need to work on? You know, as I mentioned, you know, you go back to the Atlanta game, played real well in that game, played well in the Brooklyn game, played well enough to win in the Chicago game. Uh, we got to find a way to close those out. And then didn't play well in the Denver game, played well in San Antonio. Uh, and then it's a back-to-back, -back. so you you know you got to have the resiliency and the mental toughness to get through adversity, uh, and so that's what we have to continue to work on. So. Uh, we talked after the San Antonio game about how um, much, how well Julius was moving the ball, and you know it was a great assist to turnover ratio today. Tonight was the opposite. Um, what did you see there, and why do you think it changes such a dramatic change? From well, you, every, again, the same thing. It's a, it's not any one particular guy, it's, it's a group together. Everyone has to bring energy. Everyone has to, you know, you can't like shortcut anything. Um, and uh, all, your offense is timing and spacing. Your, your defense is your commitment to each other and same thing. So uh, we're all in it together. It's, you know, you just have to have the toughness to get things done. and. Uh, you're not going to feel your best every night in this league. That's part of it. And so that's why your conditioning is so important. Tom, uh, Obi obviously made that dunk, um, brought you within five, uh, but then they scored the next eight after that. Are you, are you okay with that guy going through his legs there as long as he makes it? Or do you have Yeah, to just, you know, he's, Obi's a great athlete. You know, he's going to make, you know, some incredible plays. That's who he is. Offensively, I'm more concerned about the all-around game and how our team is doing. So, um, you know, you see, the, you know, we have a number of players that can make plays that are that are special. So, as long as it's within the context of the team framework, I'm good. What does Evan need to do to be more consistent on defense? Yeah, just you know, and, and again, I, I say it's not any one particular guy. It's the entire group, you know, I, we can go down the list. You know, start with, you know, just our defensive transition, get back, get set. You know, and sometimes, you know, if you give in to whatever uh, is ailing you or whatever it might be, what, you know, in this league, you know, you could find an excuse every night if you want to. You know, early start time, late start time, travel, back to back, whatever it might be. You know, you, some games start at noon, some games start at 8.30. You know, there's all different start times. There's back-to-backs. The schedule, you know, at the end of the day, we all play 82. You know, so sometimes it's going in your favor, sometimes it's not. Were you surprised that Tom Jones could play and did that real wrench in whatever you might be playing with? Yeah, just, you know, you, you trust the players, trust the medical staff. When they tell you someone can't go, they can't go. That's the next guy get in there, get the job done. So, you know, we know Taj is always ready. Um, I'm pleased with the way Jericho's working. 
Um, you know, Mitch got out there, gave us what he had. You had said before the game, didn't see how Mitch responded to the game. Was he not at full strength? Yeah, not, he said he, you know, like he's feeling good. He's just still, you know, working through things. So um, I like the, you know, he responded. He got going. He had, you know, some fouls in that first half. Um, but we didn't play well. 70 points for the Pacers in that first half. I mean, you talk about not giving teams confidence. What was the difficulty in keeping them from uh, from getting inside the paint and spraying out for the three-point shooters? Uh, they just got whatever they wanted. Um, transition, downhill, second chance. Um, and then it led out to the kick out three, so it just kind of was in rhythm the whole game. Heading into this week, you talked about, you know, it was kind of time to, like, take a look in the mirror, decide who you guys want to be as a team. Mm -hmm. How frustrating is it to have the win that you had last night and then to come out here and then have this performance tonight? Uh, it's frustrating, but um, just got to keep moving forward. What will you take away from this one? Like, what is the thing that you guys need to correct before you play at Toronto? Uh, it's just our focus. Um, I think everybody was maybe just a little drained, um, you know, with the back-to-back -back or whatever it was. So uh, we just got to be mentally tougher to overcome that and just have a better focus. Is the up-and-down nature of the season has been so frustrating? Just that yeah, I mean, uh, just inconsistency. Yeah, inconsistency. What, what is the big difference? You know, obviously the defense wasn't having to but what is the big difference between the offense and San Antonio where uh, you guys are moving the ball, shots are falling to today where it just didn't have that same uh, group? Um, getting stops help. Defensively getting stops help because, you know, it allows us to get out in transition and play play more free rather than every time coming down against a set defense. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit tougher to put teams in rotation um, when you're not able to push the ball and uh, get the ball up the court after stops.